this to this side. So RC by L is equal to G. RC by L is equal to G. RC by L is equal to G. So we will use this equation in order to solve this problem. So for a distortionless line, right? So RC by L is equal to RC by L is equal to G. So for a distortionless line, if you see the attenuation constant is given by square root of R into G. So if you recall for a distortionless line, alpha is given by square root of R into G, square root of R into G. Now substitute here in place of G. In place of G, substitute RC by L. So alpha is equal to square root of RG. You substitute in place of G, RC by L. So if you substitute in place of G, RC by L, so it is R square, right? R square. So R will come out, R will come out. So we can write it as R into root C by L. R into root C by L. So in the problem statement, it is given characteristic impedance, right? So what are the values? Is given characteristic impedance and alpha. Beta is not given in this problem, right? So in the earlier problem, in the last problem, beta is given. So that's why we solved in that way, in that fashion. So, but in this problem, beta is not given. Only the velocity with which the wave is propagating and characteristic impedance and alpha is given. So, we have to convert whatever equations we have in terms of characteristic impedance and in terms of the wave velocity and alpha. So, alpha is given. So, for a distortionless line, alpha is nothing but square root of Rg. So in place of G, we are replacing RC by L. So why we are replacing, you will come to know. So if you substitute R square, R will come out and R is equal to square root of C by L. So what is characteristic impedance? How is characteristic impedance for a distortionless line? It is given, it is nothing but square root of L by for a distortionless line. The characteristic impedance is given by square root of L by C. So that's why we have converted this attenuation constant in terms of R and characteristic impedance. So in the problem statement, alpha is given, right? And characteristic impedance value is also given. So from these two, we can calculate the value of R. So this you can write it as R by Z0 because Z0 is nothing but root L by C. So this C you have to take into denominator. Then you can write root L by C, R by root L by C. Root L by C is nothing but Z naught. So alpha is equal to R by Z naught. So from this, R is equal to alpha into Z naught. So alpha is given and Z naught value is given. So we can find the value of the resistance, right? Is it clear for everyone? Is it clear or any doubt? So these are the different types of problems. So in exam, simple direct substitution problem may be asked, or this type of problem may also be asked. So you should you should be familiar with all types of problems. So try to solve these problems again on your own. So then only you will get the confidence. Right? So alpha is given 20 milli. If you observe alpha is given 20 milli. So milli means 10 power of minus 3 and characteristic impedance is given as 60 ohms. So then we will get the value of R as 1.2 ohms per meter. The value of R is 1.2 ohms per meter. 1.2 ohms per meter. Is it clear? Are any doubt? 
So in the attenuation constant of the distortionless line, we have used this condition, or we have substituted the condition that we have for a distortionless line. R by L is equal to T by T. So then we have expressed R in terms of the attenuation constant and characteristic impedance Z naught. Attenuation constant and characteristic impedance Z naught. So R, R is given in terms of attenuation constant and characteristic impedance for a distortionless line in this way. R is equal to alpha into Z naught. So one value we found out. We will go for the next values also. So Z naught is given as root L by C, right? Characteristic impedance is given as Z naught is equal to root L by C. Now in this, and the velocity of the light with which it is traveling, right? So it is given as U is equal to 1 by root LC. For a distortionless line, these are the two equations. For a distortionless line, the characteristic impedance is given by root LC. And the velocity with which the wave is traveling is given by 1 by square root of LC. Now we will substitute. We will use these two equations because characteristic impedance is given and the velocity with which it is traveling is also given. So from these two, we can find, if we substitute, we can find either L or C. So if you take ratio between these two, if you take ratio between these two. So Z naught is root L by C, right? And if you divide this with U, right? So what will happen? It will be 1 by root LC, right? Sorry. Divide. So this will happen. This will go to numerator. So root LC into so this is the thing if you divide these two this root lc it is in the one by denominator so it will go to numerator so this root c and this root c will get cancelled and we will get under root l into l l into l is nothing but l square and square and root will get cancelled so z naught by u is equal to l so z naught by u is equal to L. So if we divide the characteristic impedance and the velocity, we will get the inductance value. Inductance value. So this is given as 60 ohms and u is given as 0 0.6 into c. So c is nothing but 3 into 10 power of 8. 3 into 10 power of 8. So if you substitute and simplify, we'll get 333 nano Henry per meter. So this 6, 6 and will get cancelled. And 0 0.1 if it goes to numerator, so this will become 100 by 3. 100 by 3 means 33.33 into 10 power of 8, or you can write it as 3. 333 nano Henry per meter. 333 nano Henry per meter. So is it clear or any doubt? So simply we have divided here the characteristic impedance and the velocity with which it is traveling, U. So these are the two expressions for a distortionless transmission line, for a distortionless transmission line, these are the expressions. So next, what we will do means we will multiply both. So here in order to get L, in order to get the value of L, we have divided both. Now to get the value of C, to get the value of C, we will multiply both. So if you multiply both, what will happen? So root L by C into 
one by root LC. So if we multiply both the characteristic impedance and the velocity with which it is traveling, so this root L and this root L will get cancelled. In the denominator, we have one by square root of C into C. So this is nothing but one by C. So now if you multiply both characteristic impedance and the velocity with which it is traveling, so it will be given, it will give you the capacitance value. So this is nothing but the capacitance. Capacitance value. So from this C is nothing but one by Z naught U. C is nothing but one by Z naught U. Again, if you substitute, what is given as 60 and U is given as 0.63. So this is the velocity of the light in vacuum or in free space. So this value is nothing but 3 into 10 power of 8. 3 into 10 power of 8. So its value, if you simplify, you will get 92.59 picofarad per meter. Pico means 10 power of minus 12. Pico means 10 power of minus 12. So the capacitor value is 92.59 picofarad per meter. So we got the values of R, L, and we got values of R, L, and C. We left out with only the conductance value. So we found out R, L, and C. Now we will find from these values. We will substitute the distortionless line condition at the requirement that need to be satisfied for a transmission line need to be distortion less or you can substitute here so alpha is equal to root rg right alpha is equal to root rg so alpha value we already know it is given so if you square on both sides alpha square is equal to if you square this equation on both sides Alpha square is equal to R into G. We know the value of R already. And alpha square, we know already it is given in the problem. So G from this alpha square by R. Or you can also find from R by L is equal to G by C. So we have already calculated R, L and C. So you can find out G from this also. From this, G is equal to RC by L. You can find from this also. So both ways, you will get the same answer. You can cross verify your answers. So from this, G is equal to alpha square by R. And alpha is given 20 milli. 20 milli. So if you square, milli means 10 power of minus 3. So if Square both 20 square means 400. So 10 power of minus 3 square means 10 power of minus 6. R we got 1.2 ohm per meter. So if you substitute it, you will get the conductance value as 333 micro siemens per meter. 333 micro siemens per meter. So this is the way to solve this type of problem so these last two problems are some, somewhat typical you will not get simply by direct substitution so you have to use the problem statement and the data that is given in the problem statement is it clear or any doubt is it clear problem number five Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone is having any doubt? Anyone is having any doubts? So in this type of problems, units are also very important. So if you don't substitute in 20 milli, the value of milli 10 power of minus 3, your answer is completely 
different you will get completely different answer the final result will change so you have to be very careful while solving the problems right so these are the final values of r l g and t these are if you like the video please share like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get latest video update